Hey y'all, this is Santasha. So this morning I was in the bathroom getting ready to do my hair and I said let me make a video. This is a hairstyle that I am going to attempt that I seen on a Facebook picture that someone had posted of like a model and she had a um, braid with an afro middle or more like a twist out middle but I've been doing an afro all week so my middle is going to be afroed out. And what you see here is my hair. I just parted off a small section all the way around. And this is going to serve as um, kind of like the headband braid. And the reason why I already parted it because I was in the bathroom and I was like, wait a minute. Let me add some hair to make it look full like the model did. And I don't know if the model added hair or not, but this is just what I'm going to do. So here's what I'm using. Plain old um, Marley hair. Marley braid hair. That's what I'm using. So I know I need the braid to go all the way around. So my hair is not um, soaking wet. It's a little damp. Because like I said, I've been wearing an afro or afro styles all week and so each morning I just wake up with it in the shower and then I decide what I'm gonna do with it I would say depending on how good you are with adding hair in that's how I would decide um, where to start um, right so I'm gonna start kind of on the side so that if my adding hair skills aren't so well they can be covered up. Take the hair to make it seem like the two parts that they do when they're doing your hair. I'm going to pull out one little piece. Wrap it around that. And, twi and plait it. Plait it, braid it, whichever word you want to use but three pieces not two then after that I'm going to divide my hair in half see my little hair right there divide my little hair in half put one piece over there one piece over there and then I'm going to flat twist like I usually do. Picking up a piece of my hair each time I move through, down, and around. Alright, and then the ends, you just want to take it on out. You, you have the choice whether you want to cut it or just keep braiding it to the end. I'm just going to keep braiding to the end because like I said, this is a pack of Marley hair that I have reused. Uh, I used it for the bun. I used it to stuff my hair. I did a um, style one day where it was stuffed. So... There you have it. And it makes it look um, full. You see how much hair I actually had out. But I like the way that it looks really full now. And then I'm just going to take the rest of my hair. Which is probably most of my hair. The rest of my hair moisturize it as usual one video from Kim May where she says she don't wear an afro because the afro is dry and yada 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 but as you notice I just added my moisture 
I'm going to lock in my moisture with my butter. So with that being said, I disagree. Just because you got an afro doesn't mean your hair is dry. Just means your hair is picked out, afroed out. So once you get your hair all picked out, afroed out, a decision to make. <laughs> you know, depending because the um the model in the picture that I saw, she more had like a um, twist out, but I'm doing just a regular afro. So since my hair has that um longer in the front thing where it wants to flop over and thing, what I'm gonna use is a headband. See how the headband sort of tamed that hair in the front so that it wasn't just flopping over your nice little braid. The braid almost serves as a headband itself except for depending on how your hair grows that piece might just get out of control. And what I'm going to do for the rest of my hair is just um, pat it down into a nice little afro the perfect round afro you do got you got to pat and push and tuck see how that spray the water to help it um, shrink up some more and remember you don't have to have yours all you know round crown nice and neat because the um, picture in the um, from the model, um, she had like a twist out, sort of, like a twist out afro. So, just want to share that with y'all today. And I'm going to go finish getting dressed for her. I'll take some pictures and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. Let me give you a 360 turn. And with my new little chair, I, I don't know if I told y'all about my new chair. With my new chair, my 360 turn is smooth. <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.